Yo, what up, family? It's your boy JTV here, back at it with another Dead by Daylight video. I know a lot of you guys have been wondering like where the Salt Diaries video is, but honestly, bro, the Salt Diaries series was started like a while ago when I first was into Dead by Daylight, and I made the video because you guys know when you play Dead by Daylight, especially on PS4, you get a lot of salt, so I was making those videos just to kind of shine light on how survivors act and stuff like that, because the amount of salt I was getting was unreal. I've never played a game where like consistently every game I played, I was getting salt, mainly because I started playing this game playing Killer. We killers get a lot of salt for killing survivors. How dare us, right? But like I said, the series was only started just to shine light on how bad the community is and in my videos you'd see I, I'd preach like you know quit getting mad at the killers for doing what they have to do to kill you survivor do what you got to do to survive you know so quit giving killers a hard time now due to me making these videos I've endured a lot of salt I've went back and forth with a lot of survivors for y'all's entertainment it's gotten to a point now where it's just like I've done my job I've shined light on, on how survivors act and I'm done I just want to be able to play the game ignore the bullshit finally I, yes it's about time I, I retire. I just want to play the game, not have to deal with no survivors. I'm playing on PC now, so if I do bad at the end of the game, I don't have to worry about getting a message saying, easy, you're trash. If they start that, you're camping, you're trash, you're tunneling, all of that good stuff at the end of the game, I don't got to entertain it. I can simply just leave the game and carry on with my day. This video right here will be the last Salt Diaries. Enjoy it while you can. I know, no, this is why I subscribe. Well, it's time I elevate my career. I can't elevate my career if I continue giving these salty survivors who don't even deserve my time in. I got a whole esports organization I'm trying to elevate. These salty survivors, y'all in the past, it's time we elevate. TR, we taking over, man. But this gameplay in the background, you're gonna see this Meg Thomas. Pay attention to the Meg Thomas. She accuses me of camping, tunneling, I suck with my hatchets, all of the above. She then goes on to the usual when you have TTV in your name. Uh, he says, I only get 10 viewers. How dare I not average a thousand views when I just started Twitch? How dare me? But yeah, you guys, just pay attention to the gameplay, man. If I quote unquote camped, ask yourself, what did they do that encourages camping? Are there survivors in the area? Does the killer see scratch marks? If I'm tunneling, ask yourself, did they pull the survivor off in front of his face? Is he still in the area while they unhook somebody? Ask yourself these questions if I quote unquote camped and tunneled. And if I camp, I sat in one spot, correct? Camping is sitting in one spot near somebody on the hook. Then everybody should have escaped or more gin should have got popped considering I'm sitting in one spot giving them time to do generators freely, right? And also, did he actually camp and tunnel? Or are these just excuses because the poor survivors couldn't escape? And if I'm bad at hatchets, why didn't anybody escape? And why did I connect my hatchets on Larry's Memorial Institute? A horrible map for hunters, so much cover these survivors have. Ask yourself these questions while watching this gameplay. Not a safe pallet. See, they had their decisive strikes. I don't want to hear that tunnel bull crap. Guess you got room to fuck up when you have decisive strikes. Remember guys, this Meg Thomas right here, she said I suck at the game, I suck with my hatches, and I camped in tunnel. This Meg is the salty individual in this video, so pay close attention to her. So, 
Fang is looping by her hook, and look at, look at the lorry over there in the area. Look at the scratch marks, but oh, I know survivors are in the area, so I'm supposed to let them get the free unhook. Or as they say, go all the way across the map so that you're not considered a camper. Huh, would you look at this? Lori is back. What is she trying to do? Get the save. I know survivors in the area, but my bad. Forgot. I'm supposed to leave the area knowing that so they can get a free unhook. You know what I'm saying? I go to refill guys and guess what I'm still in the area but guess what Max said I tunneled why am I going after the coin if I'm tunneling I don't get it if I was tunneling I would have immediately went after her since she's already injured but instead I go after the coin now if I see you healing somebody I'm not just gonna give you a free pass your free pass was me letting you get off that hook without targeting you but you went for the save and that cost you Even after downing her, I could have picked her up. But guess who I picked up? I picked up the Lori. Explain to me how I tunneled her. Now guys, look at what am I doing right now? You guys see all these scratch marks on the ground. Obviously, I'm tracking right now. Guess what the Quentin's trying to do? He's trying to go for the save. Now, look at look at all of these scratch marks, guys. Look at all of these scratch marks. And obviously, I'm trying to get him, but he's just a little too far. Now, the most annoying thing is when they're about to die and somebody pulls them off. Then you gotta go chase that survivor down again. And put him back on the hook. She's about to die. You're dead, girl. So, yes. I know the Quinn's over here. So, I'm going to secure my kill. I'm not going anywhere. And look what happens when they know I'm camping, bro. Look at, But look at, look at where I actually start camping at. Look at her death time. Look at her death time. And then the Quinn comes. And guess what? This happens for me camping. Now, funny thing is, the only person that complained was the Meg Thomas. The girl on the hook, Fang, didn't say nothing. Lori didn't say nothing. Quinn didn't say nothing. The only one complaining was the Meg Thomas, who had no right to even be complaining.
So then he goes on to say, Killer, your old name on Steam was telling me baby killer, but you played that entire game like a baby back bitch. Now, yes, my name on Steam at one point was that. One reason why was that because I wanted killers to chase me so I can improve my chases on keyboard and mouse. But this is when the tears start. This is when the tears start, y'all. Oh, I lied. Somebody else did say something. I didn't even realize that. But this literally went on for a while, this conversation. So if you guys don't want to see the rest, just in the video, because the video was literally going to be the rest of salt. Y'all get why I don't want to make the salt diary videos, right? I can't keep entertaining this bullcrap, man. We got better things to do, you guys. Like, I can't even focus on better videos, because I got to edit this crap. And I'm tired of editing this crap, you feel me? So yeah, we got some bangers, but y'all better enjoy this last salt diaries videos, man. We're too precious to be wasting our time fooling with some idiots on Dead by Daylight that can't handle losing a game. Then this fool tries to say that I only stream on Twitch because I only want money. What? I tell you guys all the time I don't care about you guys' donations. Not in a bad way, but I don't want y'all's money. Y'all being there supporting the stream is all I care about. And I tell y'all that all the time. And there goes the good old, oh, you, I agree for your 10 viewers, you only get 10 viewers. That's why I said, how dare I not average a thousand viewers. You gotta start somewhere, champ. Oh, buddy, you don't got to worry. This definitely was recorded and, and will be uploaded, my guy. Uh, I gotta love these survivors, bro.
This video is a prime example of why this series was even started. You don't kiss their little booties, and this is how they act. Now just imagine on PS4, where when they send you a message, you get a whole notification across your screen, you're in another game and you're still being messaged because of a salty individual from your last match, and if you want that to change, you gotta change your whole privacy settings. It's a lot. It's a lot to deal with, which is why this series was created. But I've done my time. I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done. I literally have to put my chat in followers only mode so that my mods wouldn't have to go back and forth because of some survivors. This game is sad, but I'm not going to let these survivors ruin the fun, you guys. I, I did what I needed to do. It ain't going to change nothing. Survivors are still going to be survivors. But however, y'all just know I don't kiss you little booties and you shouldn't either. But like I said, I can't do these videos anymore, man. It's trying to elevate. I got team underrated, bro. I got to put my energy into my into my players my organization all of that good stuff and as well as my youtube you know i want to make other type of videos i'll be in the process of trying to make a dead by daylight video and get some salt change my whole video because we got salt and that's the video so i can't do it no more it's all about elevating we elevate baby so yeah the last one enjoy it if y'all was only here for salt diaries well you wasn't a real one anyways and we got some some lit videos coming so if you wasn't here for the ride that sucks for you but thank y'all for watching the video man follow your boy on twitch it's your boy jtv man stay tuned bro we up next y'all we underrated for a reason, man. We about to elevate. It's lit. More bangers coming, man. Follow the Twitch stream for more lit Dead by Daylight streaming. It's your boy JTV. I'm out of here. Peace out, y'all. I love y'all.